So these just showed up in the mail today and what they are are the hull ID tags. Uh, so you can see it's got the hull ID number up here at the top which is the ORZ and other numbers I've hidden for obvious reasons. Uh, below that says Glen L Zip, hand built in 2018 by Joshua Burks. So I had these little brass tags made and what they actually are are collar tags for dogs. I ordered them off Amazon from Outdoor uh, Dog Supply here. So if you search up on Amazon brass tags or Outdoor Dog Supply brass tags, you're going to find these people. Uh, shipping was incredibly fast from the East Coast. I think I got them from point of order to, to showing up at my door uh, about four days, which was surprising all the way across the U.S. But uh, you can have up to four lines, and I think it's up to 24 characters per line. You can do a single line, two lines, three lines, or I, I opted for the four lines. So that's going to get mounted uh, back here to the transom. And I'm not sure if I'm going to mount it probably down in here, I'm guessing, um, or, or up in here. But I'm guessing more than likely down here. Uh, it's stated by law it needs to be down here at the bottom. Uh, so, yeah, that's where we are. I got two of these. Um, the second one is to hide, again, inside the hull somewhere to aid in theft recovery. Hopefully we never have to use that, but uh, I'll probably have a couple more made up and stash them all over in this thing just because it's cheap insurance. But uh, yeah, these things, four bucks a piece, free shipping. So very economical, really quick turnaround, highly customizable, they look nice. They came with a whole bunch of brass rivets to attach them to a collar, which obviously I won't be using. I'll just use some Probably stainless screws, but yeah, so that showed up. Pretty cool. It's one of the last three things I have to do to the zip. Um, another one will be mount my fire extinguisher, which <laughs> don't tell the popo I still haven't done, which you are required by law to do. So I got, I got to purchase and install a fire extinguisher and the bilge pump. So you may or may not remember, we pulled wires from the second pole of the light switch, the GM headlight switch, to the back of the boat for bilge pumps. Um, so it's hooked up, it's hot, there's a fuse in it, wires ran to the back of the boat, but no bilge pumps. So I have to purchase and install a couple of bilge pumps. So that's really the only two things. Ah, I guess there's, I guess there's another one. I wanna get my burgie made for up here on my drumstick for the front of the boat, my little flag staff, so. Got to get my burgie made. I guess there's three things left to do. That's where we are. So this is another drone that I picked up. This is a Isheen Wizard. Uh, this is a five inch drone, they call it. Um, I bought this little carbon fiber mount for it and attached a, a action cam. It's, it's basically about the equivalent of a uh, Hero 3 or 4 GoPro. Uh, nice videos but something cheap in case I hammer this thing into a tree like you're gonna see in the next little portion of video I don't destroy a you know two or three hundred dollar camera I destroy a thirty dollar camera um, I am not a drone channel I have very very little drone experience but I just I like picking them up to fly cameras around for an interesting perspective in my videos um, so this one's substantially faster than my DJI, my really stable camera drone. This one will do about 56, 57 miles an hour right out of the box as it sits right now. It's a handful to control. Um, yeah. But anyhow, here's just one more little toy for the channel.
super fun. Now this is a camera down here. I don't know if you can see that or not, but I have a, a headset goggles that I wear and there's a live feed coming from this camera out of the video transmitter back here, this antenna, back to my, my headset, my goggles that I'm wearing. So it's a first person view that I'm flying this thing with. Super fun. I'm also terrible at flying it. So at this point, I head home, I grab my rifle, and it took me 23 shots to knock the limb out from underneath of it, but uh, ultimately, we got her back. Oh, so subscribe if you haven't already, rate, comment, and we'll see you guys on the next one.